Aloha, ukulele on the ground. This is Kyle. And this is Ryan. Ryan. We're here at the Cordova booth. And uh, how you doing? Good, man. How are you guys? Pretty good. Cool, cool. And uh, looks like you guys got some new stuff for We do, yeah. Um, there's a ton of ukes already that we make, but we decided to add a few more because why not? They're a lot of fun. Um, well, you can always use more. Exactly. <laughs> there's never enough ukuleles in the world, ever. Um, <laughs> this is the new 24 series uke. It is a solid cedar top across the entire line spalted maple back and sides with this really cool deep red paduke binding on it. Um, the cedar top is not something you usually see on ukuleles. Uh, it's something we decided to throw on there as a little bit of a homage to where the company came from as a nylon string heritage. Uh, and it, they sound really, really good too. Uh, they come in the full complement of sizes, soprano all the way through baritone, and there's a tenor with a cutaway on there. 199 map to 279. And they're a lot of fun to play. I won't play anymore, it's gonna fall out of my hands and then I'll get in trouble for breaking my new instrument. Yeah, when, uh, yeah we just thought we had like five cups of coffee already. Exactly, so. yeah. <laughs> my hands are sweaty. You can't tell, but they're really sweaty. Yeah, so you said uh, there's the all sizes, so soprano, All sizes, concert. yeah. We got soprano, concert, tenor, tenor with a cutaway, and then the baritone. Cool. And, uh, and like you said, like there was like a paying uh, homage to the, the classical guitar. Homage to the classical guitar, you guys yeah. Are so known for. So. We, uh, when we first started building ukes, actually 13, 14 years ago, um, we based all of our ukuleles like they're miniature guitars. So they weren't braced like a traditional uke, they're all braced with little fan bracing. Yeah. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why we've done so well with them. Um, they have kind of a unique voice, they're a little bit different, but they project really, really well, especially for something that's as small as they are. Yeah. So, uh, why, why was the, the decision to use the, the, the cedar? Well, uh, it's a little bit it? of a softer sound with the cedar top than the spruce. Uh, and we've done just about every other flavor of wood combination that you could possibly have. Yeah. So we decided to try something a little bit different and I think they look beautiful. Yeah, and, and you got to, like you might as well. Just... Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, so there's, so there's these, anything else you'd Yeah, like to... so we got those guys and then we have one new addition to the mini line. And that's this guy right here. So last year, Cordoba came out with three new mini guitars. They're baritone uke bodies with six strings, full-size spacing and full-size frets. So a big kid can play it and their hands are not smashed into the first three frets. But it also works really, really well for a beginner. We did phenomenal with them, so we decided to add something a little bit extra this year. Uh, it's the Mini O, which is our most popular one with a cutaway and a sweet little electronic system on it so you can plug it in and annoy your neighbors or your mom or your dad or, or whoever. They don't have a choice. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> There's not earplugs strong enough to protect them from this. <laughs> um, and that's all of our new ukulele stuff this year. Um, everything else has done really, really well for us this year. The ukes are yeah. continually, continually growing in pretty much everyone's category, and uh, we couldn't be happier with it. Yeah. So actually, going along those lines, I got one more question. Yep. Uh, so if, uh, if I was a beginner ukulele player, and I didn't really know quite much like what I'm doing, like which, uh, which ukulele would you recommend? If you are a beginner and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money and you want something that's going to sound good and last maybe even longer than you're interested in the instrument, I would go with the 15CM. This is the ukulele that really kind of started it all for us. And this is what I was just describing a couple minutes ago about an inexpensive uke that's built like a guitar. We started making these in Portugal um, a long, long time ago. We've since moved factories, but this is the best-selling ukulele that we make. We sell thousands and thousands of them. 99 map price point. Very nice. It doesn't get much better than that. Affordable and sturdy. And sure, it sounds good. It does. It sounds good when somebody good is playing it. <laughs> I think it's in tune right now. <laughs> Might have to cut that part out. <laughs> all right, and um, you guys can find all of these ukes uh, online? Yep. Is that right? CordobaGuitars.com will give you some really nice detailed images of them so you can zoom in and look at all the beautiful wood grain, uh, but you can also find links to dealers that stock them around the world as well as online. Perfect. Well, thanks, Ryan. Of course. Thank and, you, guys. Uh, have a good rest of the show. We'll try. And this is Kyle Ferruccio, junior correspondent for Ukulele Underground, signing off. Aloha.